so here's a little explanation of the compound five and a half degree trick so the problem is when you're trying to bore a bearing pocket uh, for a top you have to hit the number very precisely i mean we're talking about press fits of like three ten thousandths of an inch up to like 1.2 um thou so uh, you have to be quite precise and the dial on your cross slide uh, only measures in thousandths of an inch. Now on my South Bend 9A here, the dial is very, very small. So the graduations from one thousandths to the next thousandths is, is really quite tiny. Um, and so in order to be accurate between that number, um, you have to well be very, very careful and usually you're going to overshoot it. So one thing that you can do is set the cross slide to five and a half degrees off of the spindle axis. And I just grabbed um, a uh, general protractor here. I held it to my lathe truck like this, and I brought the carriage in and set my my uh, compound to five and a half degrees that, that way there. And that was accurate enough. It doesn't need to be spot on. Um, although, you know, the more accurate you are, the more that the numbers will actually matter. So what happens here is when we're trying to dial in a bore, uh, remember that every measurement you take, well, depending on your lathe, but most likely they're all direct reading. So every measurement that you take here, you're taking off per side and you're cutting the front side and of course the back side as well. So you're actually going um, twice as much on your measurement. So if I want to take one thousandths off, I can't move one thousandths on the cross slide, otherwise I'm gonna take two thousandths off. So I can only move half that distance. I think it's actually called indirect reading. So anyway, I have um, the compound set to five and a half degrees here, and I have um, a five tenths indicator on here, and I know it's kind of far away, and it's probably a glare. I wonder, I don't know if this will be any better. It might actually be a little bit better there. So I'll, Set this off to zero. Okay, so now the dial indicator is on zero, and I know that you can't really read those measurements just too far away. But the point here is, let's say that I wanna take five tenths um, off of the bore, but it's only two and a half tenths per side. So I need to move a quarter of a graduation on the cross slide. And that's very, very, very difficult. So I'll try that. First of all, uh, I'm gonna zero out the dial here. So it's right on, okay? And I see that my dial indicator is still at zero. So I'm gonna try to move a quarter of a, of a mark here. I'm gonna say it's about right there. And if I look at the dial indicator, I actually moved five tenths. So I moved double what I wanted to do, which means I actually ended up taking off. If I took off five tenths per side, that means I just took a thousandths off of my bore and I totally just overshot it. So that's a real problem. How do we address this? Well, let's reset this guy back to zero. So now my dial indicator is on zero. And because the cross slide is set to five and a half degrees, when I come in here and I move this guy, um, every degree mark, or every tenth, every thousandths mark on the dial here is actually representing a tenth of a thousandths uh, on the, the, the X movement of the tool post itself, okay? So if I come in here and I wanted to move that two and a half tenths, it means I need to move two and a half thousandths on the dial. And if I do that, one, two, and a half, you can see that I actually have only moved two and a half thousandths on the indicator. So I'm between the, the zero mark and the first mark, which is five tenths. So I've actually moved my two and a half thou, which means I'm now cutting off a half of a thousandths off my bore. So this is a way you can dial in a lot more um, precision on a lathe where it's really hard to get that kind of precision based on um, the, the indirect reading dial that you have. Now, if you had a larger dial here, the space between each thousandths marker is going to be much larger because it's a larger radius. And therefore it might be easier to dial in, you know, a half a thou or a quarter thou um, to get that kind of a number. 
But this is much easier because with this method, you're literally dialing in the thousandths of an inch and that's representing 10 thousandths of an inch. So if I wanted to move, you know, half a thousandths, I can just move, I'm sorry, half a tenth, yeah, half of a thousandths, which is five tenths. Um, I could move five thousandths on this dial here and I'll give me my five tenths. So if I come back here in zero, oops, a little, a little over. Okay, so I'm on zero there. If I dial in five thousandths on the cross slide dial, now I've actually moved five ten thousandths of an inch on the indicator in the X movement. So this is kind of like a times 10 magnifier when you have this guy set to five and a half degrees. So that's the whole point of it.